Uh, I'm here with Ken Lapata, the first Wiley Distinguished Postdoctoral Fellow for EMSL. Comes to us from UCLA. He's been here nine months, six just months, shy of a year. just shy of a year. Uh, so tell us what it's like to be the first Wiley postdoc. Well, I, I think it's actually a, a great opportunity. I, um, I came here with the goal in mind just to do science, mm -hmm. and not to get too bogged down in anything else. And I think one of the great advantages of, of this uh, program is that I could set my own research direction. So about a year before I came here, I visited uh, with Neri, mm -hmm. Neri Govan, who I work with now, and we were working on a project together. And what I'm doing now sort of, I guess, ultimately stemmed from that. Um, you know, there's a lot of other interesting things too. I got to uh, participate in things like this and the, uh, the SAC meeting, the mm -hmm. Science Advisory Committee and stuff like that. Cool. So I think all in all, it's gone quite well. So we're, we're looking at ah, some yes, movies of some of your work. What's the, what, what do you think about the capability we have here in terms of computing? Oh, I mean, computing is phenomenal. I mean, I, I couldn't ask for anything better. Mm -hmm. uh, in order to actually do what I do, I don't just need good computing facility, but I also need good code to base it on, mm -hmm. and, and people who know what they're doing. That's, it's perfect here. The the NW Chem Group, they're they're great, and the code itself is perfect. Right. It's perfect for what I need to do. And one of the things we like to do is match our computing with experiment, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. that's part of what you're doing. That's so how is it working ultimate. with experimentalists? I've just basically got my code to the point where I can actually start to address what I think are, are real problems. Mm -hmm. So. Um, like, if, for example, these movies here, they show the, the charge density in molecules uh, moving as, after you've excited them with laser with pulses. Laser light. So it's going to so, tie in nicely with a yep. lot of our nonlinear optics. Yep, we have the, there's some interesting, uh, like the sum frequency generation stuff that I can pretty much, I think, tackle anyways when it comes to visible light right now. So yeah. did, you, did you know about EMSL before you applied? Or, I uh, knew about um, NWCAM. NWCAM, mm -hmm. yeah. And through that, I, I guess I indirectly knew about Emsel. And then when I visited with Neri, that's when I really sort of got introduced to the place. Where do you see postdocs in general going in Emsel? Well, I think the role they play. You know, I started here as a postdoc mm -hmm. at the that's lab, right. and uh, it, of course, there's no expectation that it's a pipeline to employment, and they always make that clear. But I think that's if true. it's the perfect opportunity, unlike the university, to really demonstrate what you can do. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I was able to actually get a little internal funding for myself and uh, as a postdoc, yeah. and then that made it a natural fit for me to become a staff member. Mm -hmm. And so I think at National Labs, if you can differentiate yourself as a postdoc, maybe get a little funding, you can create a position yeah. for yourself, and you can't do that at a university. So I think natural, National Labs are good opportunities for postdocs, so if that's the environment. A lot of our postdocs want to be university professors, they and might, they, yeah. they get the experience that they need in a certain area, and they go off and do that, and that's great, too. So. And, and that's kind of what I see from some of my postdoc friends, as well as myself, is that, you know, people don't view it as some sort of necessarily leading to employment, which is a good thing. All right. You just want to do your work as best you can. And right. If it works out well, that's... It will work that's, out. That's yeah. what you want. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Just depends on the individual's mm -hmm. path. So. Mm -hmm. What, what do you think about the postdoctoral experience here? Um, do you get a sense of community amongst the postdocs? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like anywhere, you know, it's it's a matter of meeting people, right. and sometimes people work in their in their lab and they're there all evening, or, or me, I'll sit in my office do my my computational stuff. So sometimes you don't meet as many people, but at the same time, there's lots of opportunities to do that. And I think that, from what I can tell, people are generally pretty happy, and. I think people are doing good work. 